One of the most important classes we offer here at the School of Media and Public Affairs is the Senior Seminar in Journalism Ethics, and one of the cases that our students and faculty will be following for a long time to come is the case of Charlie Hebdo, and specifically other news organizations' decisions on whether to republish or not the image of the Prophet Muhammad from that first magazine after the killings. The debate breaks down pretty cleanly. The New York Times, for example, did not publish it, and their executive editor said the reason was there is a line between gratuitous insult and satire. Most of these images, he said, are gratuitous insult. They didn't publish. They also cited concerns for safety of New York Times employees around the world. The Washington Post did publish it, and their executive editor said our policy has been to avoid publication of material that is pointedly deliberately or needlessly offensive to members of religious groups. That remains our policy, but this doesn't fall into that category. The bottom line in all cases is this. Can the story be told? Can it be told effectively and pointedly with or without the images? That's the challenge to the news organizations. Their decision as to whether to publish or not based on their standards and practices, their concerns for the safety and well-being of their employees and the sensibilities of the audience are decisions for them to make. That too is free speech. I'm Frank Sesno at the School of Media and Public Affairs, the George Washington University.